the level of excitement is really high here in Capitalsville. Yes, this is really the town's name. Capitalsville, my God, I've been looking for this place. 92-year-old Hank Hilburn found his way across the river from Frederick, Maryland to take a picture in front of the Capitalsville sign. This is huge for us. Longtime Caps fan Robert Zoldus is also the mayor of Lovettsville. He convinced the town council to change the name temporarily. A lot of Caps fans here. It's a great, wonderful little quirky town, and we wanted to capitalize, if you will, on the ability to become the first uh, first Capitalsville. We're just going to picture with the sign for the Caps game. Everyone here seems to love it. Of course, the main event tonight here in Capitalsville is the viewing party to watch the Caps on a huge screen right there in the middle of the green. Uh, we have a 10 by 20 foot screen that'll be in the middle of, it's actually at the middle column, uh -huh. and that's large enough to see all the way back to pretty much the other side. It's going to be a madhouse. There's going to be a bunch of wonderful screaming fans. And this little hockey rink he's building is for games of knee hockey tonight. Actually, it's a thing out in Lovettsville is we do our quirky events very seriously. Christian Rock Radio Station WGTS 91.9 is here. The mayor of Capitalsville was on the morning show last week. He said, you know, why don't you join us for the party? We thought a party in rural Virginia. Why not? Sounds like fun. And the weather is absolutely perfect. With the Caps with a 3-1 lead, I mean, they could win the Stanley Cup tonight. It's something they've never accomplished before, and it's very exciting for all of us. In Capitalsville, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.